Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing about different trigonometric functions available in TIA portal. So we'll be seeing about sine, cosine, and then tan, and then we'll be seeing about arc sine and arc cos and arc tan. The reverse of uh, sine, cosine, and uh, tan, right? So we'll be seeing one by one what is going to happen. Okay. So let us observe what is going to happen. So here one more uh, one important thing to observe is the input functions basically this trigonometric functions will take only the radians value basically what will happen it is not in degrees okay so whatever input is given is in the form of radians okay here we'll be taking this uh, sine function okay and here we'll be giving one no okay and we'll be making some tags so again it will be our input tag input tag and then we'll be having this as input value underscore value okay so it will be a real in nature and this will be md0 right and then we'll be having uh, a result here okay so this will be our result and then it will be taking all these tags here so here it will be ha uh, will be having input value and then here will be having basically it will be our input value okay and then here will be having result right so here one thing to observe is the value which is given to this uh, function right so it will be in the form of radians so suppose if you want to calculate the value of sine 90 so sine 90 means basically what is happening we are giving the value as uh, pi by 2 right so basically 3.14 divided by 2 that value will be giving here then only it will calculate sine 90 okay sine 90 degrees right so here let us observe how to do that so what I will do is I will take pi here okay so where is the value where is pi so this is our pi right and i'll divide it by 2 so basically pi by 2 is the value and now i'll copy this value okay so this is our result okay i'm copying this value and then we'll be using it as an input okay so let me download this logic so basically sine 90's value will be calculating okay so let us go to the online mode okay after going to the online mode we'll be monitoring the logic okay so basically it is 4 for the moment so let me change its value so let us give it as this value right so okay now if you are able to observe this is 1 right so basically why it is 1 because we have converted this uh, 90 degrees into radians that is pi by 2 and pi by 2 is 3.14 divided by 2 and correspondingly we will be getting the value okay now similarly you can convert this to okay so whatever value if you want to calculate pi uh, basically the value of uh, pi okay so 180 degrees right so if you want to calculate the value of 180 degrees sine 180 degrees or uh, if you want to calculate the value of 45 then we will be dividing 3.14 by 4 right so in this way you can calculate okay so now for the moment i am changing this function now we'll be calculating the value of cos pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 is basically 0 right so i'll be changing this to cos pi by 2 so i'll be taking it as cos here now let me download this okay i am downloading it and loading it okay and then we'll be going to the online mode okay after going to the online mode i'll monitor the logic now if you are able to observe this is uh, basically giving some unknown values 
right so basically it is a zero value that is why it is not showing it properly so let us calculate some other value okay so suppose if you want to calculate pi by uh, suppose we not uh, we want to calculate sin cos zero right so we can give it as zero uh, here okay we can give it as zero here so it will calculate it as one okay so because we know that cos zero is one right similarly you can calculate some other value as well now let us uh, change this function right so let us take it as 10 now okay so let us calculate the value of 10 45 right 10 45 degrees that is uh, in radians it will be pi by 4 okay so let us uh, download this logic and monitor what is going to happen so we will be calculating the value of pi by 4 right so let me calculate the value of pi by 4 here so pi right and then divided by 4 okay so now this value will be giving the in giving it as an input okay so i am copying it and then will be giving it as an input to the function right so i am going to the online mode again and here what we'll do is i'll give it as the input now see it will be giving it as one okay because we know that sine 45 uh, 10 45 is one okay so in this way you can use this sine function uh, this different functions trigonometric functions in order to calculate the values right now what we'll do is i'll convert it to arc function right so basically it will uh, cause inverse of some value if you want to calculate then we can calculate it okay for example okay if you want to calculate the value of sine inverse of one okay or you can calculate some other value as well because uh, let me download it first okay so we'll be calculating the value of uh, sine inverse of one right so let me uh, change it to first of all we are not change it right uh, a sign right now i'll download this again okay i'm downloading it and then we'll be going to the online mode and we'll be observing what is going to happen okay so here i am going to the online mode now and let us monitor the logic okay so actually it is not uh, uh, now let us give some value here so i am giving it as 1 okay 1.0 so it will be 1.56 basically what is happening sine inverse of 1 is calculated so it is giving it as in radian so basically if you calculate the value of pi by 2 right so obviously it will be 1.5 or something right so let us calculate the value of pi by 2 first pi divided by 2 so obviously it will be 1.570 the same value we are getting here so basically this function a sine function is the inverse of sine okay so sine inverse of 1 is 1.57 okay in radians right so let us try for another functions as well so actually we need to calculate the cos inverse here so i'll be using this a cos here and then let us download this again okay i'm downloading it and then going to the online mode after going to the online mode i am monitoring the logic so if you are able to observe when you are giving it as zero it is producing 1.570 okay so basically what is happening it is calculating the value of cos inverse of zero okay so cos inverse of zero is how much 1.57 something right similarly this is basically what is uh, this is the value of pi by 2 right so it is basically pi by 2 okay so we already know that cos pi by 2 is how much zero so here we are calculating the reverse of it so cos inverse pi by 2 is this much okay cos inverse of 0 is pi by 2 that is 1.53570 okay so in this way we are calculating a cos inverse now let us calculate the value of 
a tan okay so here what i'll do is i'll convert it into a tan okay what we'll do is l just download it again after downloading let us monitor it again so here what we'll do is i'll be calculating the value of sin 45 or uh, basically if you are giving it as 1 so it will be calculating pi by 4 okay so what is happening 3.14 divided by 4 is how much 0 0.78 right so we know that uh, uh, sin uh, 10 pi by 4 is how much this uh, 10 pi by 4 is 1 right so we are actually calculating the inverse tan inverse of 1 so tan inverse of 1 will be 0 0.785 right so in this way we are calculating okay and then we'll be also looking at uh, let us check it in calculator as well okay so if you want to calculate suppose this is pi by 4 right so this is our pi by 4 divided by 4 is how much 0 0.785 in this way we are able to calculate this okay so this is how we have completed all these functions okay so in the next lecture we will be seeing about fraction and export